Hey everyone, Adrian here. Today I'm going to share with you an update that we made to the uh, customer module. Okay, so customer tagging has been a highly requested feature. How you use this essentially is you can create different tagging, such as in a, a specific client has an injury, you can actually tag it to their account so that whenever they book an appointment or class, the tagging shows up. Mm. Uh, and, and you know to watch out for them or bouldering companies, climbing studios can actually pack company, uh, sorry, customer shoe sizes and a bouldering company can actually tag um, shoe sizes uh, to client's account so that whenever a client book a, uh, a, a session in the attendee list, the uh, gym manager would be able to easily already know what size of shoes to prepare for this specific client. Yeah, so creating a tag is really easy. It's as simple as uh, writing as um, newbie or and then going in and changing a color and then that's it. So now you have just created a newbie tag, right? So now if I click into newbie, I can still edit it if I want to change color or something. Um, but the more important feature is the fact that now I can uh, assign customer to this specific group. Let's say I'm going to assign myself. So I'm just going to assign myself at, and this is how Adrian now has been tagged with a newbie tagging. So just imagine Adrian has booked a class for say, um, Today at I'm gonna choose Adrian. Okay. He has a test package and I'm gonna add him in. As you can see, there you go, the newbie tagging just appeared. And that is how it's gonna be able to be really super useful because now you can actually um, know your client that's a coming and then prepare all the necessary equipment and know what precautions to take when they join the class okay and that is actually under customer under tagging um, we also made updates to the pricing group so that it's just much easier previously it was really buried so now what this means is essentially i can create different pricing groups for different types of clients so the good thing about this again is now you no longer need to go to the customer profile to assign them a pricing group. You can easily come to this section and say, okay, VIP, I'm going to assign Rani in here. Go Rani. At. So Rani now is part of the uh, group. And even better, I can go in and see which are the clients that are under the pricing groups of friends and family, and which other uh, client that are tagged under VIP. And I can remove them as and when as well. So this is basically how tagging work. One controls pricing and one actually just, is just a tagging that just uh, shows a client with uh, specific in information. So I think some of you still don't understand exactly what pricing group is. So I'm just going to quickly show you. Once you create a pricing group and you actually start grouping a customer in there, what happens is when you create a package or a membership, you can now actually be able to do something like, um, let's say I'm going to do a trainer only pack. By default, I'm selling this package at $200. But if I turn on friends and family and I set it 150, anyone that is in the friends and family group, when they try to go and purchase this particular package, rather than seeing it as $200 by default, they will actually see that they enjoy a discount and it's going to only cost them $150 to buy the exact same pack that the default clients have to pay 200 for and that is how um, different studios different gyms are able to actually secretly sell a lower pricing 
to special friends, family, etc. Okay, and uh, that is all for today. I hope you enjoy this uh, new tagging and uh, customer pricing group rollout. Thank you.